Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm here to show you the Milford, which is this gorgeous house behind me. It's shown in a semi-detached format, but what is the Milford? The Milford is a gorgeous two bedroom, one bathroom property. Approximate size of the Milford is 683 square feet and it's currently listed for a fantastic £230,000 at this development and where are we we are at the field farm development this is located in Nottinghamshire and this is a development by Peveril Homes so yeah what are we looking at so like I said it's a two-bedroom at the bottom of the property the bottom half has brickwork and then the top half is kind of complemented with this rough cast render in a cream kind of magnolia color I do notice you've got these kind of um, stone effect sills as well which is a traditional looking detail as well and then you've got black rainwater pipes black guttering to contrast the whole thing <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much the outside and then round that side we've got the entrance to the garden now let's go inside and tour the rest of the property so come inside let's get nice and cozy Let's go straight into the tour. Right, let me just close the door. Ah, we are home. We are inside. So, first impression, what do we see when we first enter the house? The first thing I'm going to comment on is the front door. So again, it has the dual colours, different colour on the outside and the inside, which adds a bit of funk, a bit of kind of like fun fun, I should say. You've got also a glaze panel on the front door and then chrome iron mongery, chrome, 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 and then a peephole. Great, they've put the consuming unit here, but again, in your property, it may not be on that wall, but it's good to note that that's an option. Radiator throughout the whole property. And then let's talk about our favorite thing to do. It's not really our favorite, but we love to do it. It's talking about the doors and the iron mongery. I love the handles that you've got here, very sturdy, chrome. And then you've got this kind of high gloss, traditional four panel doors. And then you've got your traditional kind of shapes to your architraves. And then that connects beautifully into your skirting. First room over here is our downstairs toilet, two piece suite, beautiful wallpaper, but we're not here for the wallpaper. So you've got your toilet, your sink there. We've gone with a tile in here. So you're probably seeing closer to what you'd get without additional upgrades like half height tiling. You've got a splashback tiling there, sink and toilet, like I said, by a rocker, that's the brand, and then ventilation there because there's no window in the toilet. But again, the air is being replenished by the ventilator. Beautiful. Again, this flooring is stunning. I believe the brand is Cardine Flooring. So it's a luxury vinyl tile uh, brand and it creates a really highly durable flooring that is a luxury vinyl as opposed to a wood and it, this, it's not a squeaky floor as you can tell because it's a vinyl tile. Again, the kitchen is the first one we're coming off from. I love the fact that they've got the window right in front of the sink. Really cool sink by Capo. Love it. I'm not seeing this. Very, very nice kind of attention to detail. And then Karen Phoenix tap, mixer tap. That is so good to have to have that right in front of your sink because obviously it's letting so much light and then you're not bored when you're doing the washing up and i like the way they've tiled the sill to that so let's talk about the kitchen what is the kitchen it's actually u-shaped u-shaped kitchen i love the color palette they've gone with like a dark green contrasting nice with this kind of like whitish grayish worktop this is a laminate but again people always feel as a laminate is kind of not trendy but they've gone with such a trendy color palette that you wouldn't even know that it was laminate really except you come up really close you've got your one two three four burner uh hob there by aeg capo extract fan and then integrated um integrated uh oven here as well and then storage space you can see there for the wall mounted unit so you've got storage all the way around there and you've got your cutlery drawer there. You've got your non-integrated uh, either washing and dry machine there. And this is cute, isn't it? Oh, that's cool. 
<laughs> your washing powder can go in there very very good use of space again storage all the way below let's spin around and let me show you what's behind the door good fridge freezer oh this is so good i love this you'd never know this was a fridge and freezer so again this is our fridge freezer by zanussi and just so you can see storage there and brian maybe you're putting a clip of the handles they're gorgeous or gorgeous they're absolutely gorgeous i absolutely love them and then everything is on soft closers love it um oh almost forgot these down lighters as well add a bit of fancy fanciness to the kitchen and let's go back to the hallway hallway right in front of us we've got the staircase going up that way but let's go in through here wow i love it it is lovely this is lovely staging is 10 out of 10 but again rectangular ish l-shaped actually l-shaped living area that is so clever i love that so it's an l-shaped floor plan and then they've gone with an l-shaped sofa in this nook and then the focal point is here on the wall. It's clearly defined zones, living area, and then you've got your dining area here. And isn't this cool? This paneling, stunning. I love it. And by going with the same color as the wall, it's not too kind of heavy on the eyes, just like a nice little touch. And then the radiators, they've covered them up with the radiator cover. And then they've got a four seater here. But again, as a round table, it's a very large table. So this, if you probably went for a smaller rectangular table, maybe you could get a six seater in this corner, or maybe you don't even want a dining table here. You can just make this whole space a living area if you want. There is, a, yeah, let's show you that now actually. This is your double door. Your pair of double doors going to your back garden. As you can see, you've got paving slabs and then a lawn at the back. They've put in a really beautiful tree there and landscaping you don't tend to get that as standard what you will get is just lawn and paving and then it would be up to you to do whatever you want to do with it but yeah that's the garden and actually guys thanks for sticking with us there's going to be a garden tour which i'm going to show you what's in the garden in a second so let me show you how you enter your garden so come this way and now you're in your garden so you can see from here You've got your paving slabs, you've got your lawn. They've gone with a little tree there, like I said before, and then planting. But when it comes to you, you can do whatever you want with this. This is just an idea of what you can get. And then obviously you can see the back of the house. All right, see you back inside. And yeah, that was the garden tour. So now back into the internal space. Let's look at this mystery door, which has been catching my attention. So mystery door, I already see this light switch by the mystery door and I'm loving it because if it is what I think it is, it's a star cupboard under the stair. And again, they've gone with the light already. You don't have to ask for that as an upgrade, I don't think. Um, but yeah, it's good to have. Otherwise, it's like that, you know. I love that. So, you know, it's very versatile um, and well lit. That's the word I'm looking for. Now let's go upstairs to the first floor. Now that we're on the landing, let me show you the rooms on this floor. I'm going to start with this one over here. Wow, Brian, this is so nice. It's so nice. I love the stage. I've been kind of keeping the excitement in. I already spotted it when I was walking up the stairs. But I just love the way they've painted the 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 wall like this and then what i also spotted in this house they've gone with three light switches so you can switch off each light individually which is so cool and then on this side they've paired it with spotlights so i love the fact that you have that option because normally you just have a pendant which is just like electric wire and a bulb but you have the option to play with the light i really really like that again it's a double bedroom Dub double bed in the middle, bedside table either side. And then you've got your three pane window facing the back garden. Two of these open, so you've got two opening lights. Ventilation, great, and great views actually um, of the development. And then you've got storage on this side, which would be wardrobes. Okay? And then you can put your wardrobes from wall to wall over here. And yeah, they've kind of staged it as in it's got, um, this really beautiful bespoke joinery actually as like a work desk a work from home area which i absolutely love but again you're probably gonna have wardrobes going there and they could be fitted wardrobes 
completely up to you. I did spot a TV aerial here, so you could probably put a TV on that wall and swivel it round. But again, it's a really nicely sized room. And what's unique about this house, you'll see in a second, I'll tell you actually, I was gonna spoil it, but I'm not gonna spoil it. Let's do it in order. The next room here is the family bathroom. So this is the main bathroom to this floor, the only bathroom on this floor. And it's a toilet, sink, and a bath. And they've gone with the shower over bath option here. So you do have a shower option. It's got a glass divider screen. And I just love the tiling. Maybe you'll be able to come around and just take a look. That's stunning absolutely stunning subway tiling done in kind of like a sage green color window as well so i love that that is great and a shaver socket double shaver socket there and then the chrome towel rail love the antica flooring here as well and because it is luxury vinyl tiling it can be waterproof and it is waterproof so it's suitable to have that wood grain appearance in a wet room like a bathroom so before we go into the final room let's look at this room this is a star cupboard with a light switch absolutely love seeing that again i don't know why you have to ask for an upgrade for a light in there it's just so practical to have one in there the christmas tree can go in there linen whatever you want can go in there and then this is the final room in this property it's got the windows as well so you can see either side the rooms are a really good size this one you probably didn't notice that actually has its wardrobes on there so they don't eat into the space at all so you get a bonus space for wardrobes there and then behind me you could probably put wardrobes as well but in front of me we've got a large bed and then bedsides either side window radiator we're looking at the front scratch that side of the property and yeah this is pretty much what you're getting in this room isn't this pretty oh actually i spotted that another little clever detail that's cool so when you do buy new build for everyone who's like new builds have no character new builds are boring you can do things like this um you can go through the process first fix second fix telling the developer that you want the three spotlights there because you want to create a feature and then they can basically put it on a separate track and that's really good it's not on the same lighting track so you can save energy and yeah that is pretty much it what else in the room is that you've got the space here they put two dresses but we're gonna expect that you're gonna put wall-to-wall -wall wardrobes and i think that is it for the tour tv tv socket on the wall <laughs> that's it for the tour thank you for watching all the way through comment below what you love the most and but most of all click one of these videos to watch more peveril home tours and we'll see you in the next video okay bye